Hey guys, I'm Scott. I just got a biceps tenodesis and a labrum repair done two days ago. Uh, I was gonna make videos earlier, but I was a little too loopy and lazy, and you know how you are when you take pain medication, kind of lose motivation, do everything. Um, but I feel pretty good today. I actually slept a little bit last night. Um, you can see right here. Under here, soon I'm going to take a shower in about two days. There's a big incision here where they went in and they attached my biceps again. Luckily, they avoided all my tattoos. They went in back here by the whale's tail. And they went in up here too by my honey dipper. But they didn't mess up any of my ink. It's really hot to the touch right here. Really hot, pretty sore. I'm putting ice on it constantly pretty much for these first two days. Um, I'll probably slow that down a little bit in the next couple days, but you got to put ice on for like a week. It's really swollen. It's swollen the whole way down to my hand. My hand's still a little bit fat and a little bit tingly. Uh, things to know when you go in, they give you a nerve block, which is pretty cool. They stick it in your neck. I was pretty scared of that part because I don't like needles, but first they gave me some calming medication and I was in a pretty good mood and I didn't even feel it anyway. And then next thing you know, I woke up. And then for about a whole day, I couldn't feel my arm. My fingers were tingly. Um, and then in the middle of the night, it started to hurt a lot. That was probably the worst pain that I had the first night. Woke me up in the middle of the night, couldn't sleep. I took some more pain medication. I'm taking it every six hours, like they say too. Uh, and you pretty much need it. I, for the last hour, I'm counting down the minutes until I get it again. But stuff works wonders. You can also take ibuprofen in between too. That helps also. Uh, I came up with a couple little tips here that'll make life a lot easier with one hand. And remember this, you don't just have one hand. You still have your other hand. As long as I'm not working my bicep, I'm okay. I'm not messing up anything that they did. I can still use this hand to grab a hold of something very light while I do stuff with it, right? Sometimes it hurts a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I took all my medication and put it in one of these grandma containers. It looks stupid, but it really helps because I can open these with one hand. I can very easily just use my thumb, pop it open, boom. Drink a lot of water because you need a lot of fluids, right? Get a little squirt bottle. Deodorant. Spray can works the best. Floss. I didn't even realize this until I watched someone else's video. You can't floss with one hand unless you use one of these guys. And it's actually pretty easy. Now that I used it, I don't think I'm ever going to go back. You can clean your dirty spots like your armpit that's very hard to get to with these guys, these butt wipes. I also kind of uh, prepped my food at least most of my food. Uh, you should probably eat soup for the first couple days in case you're nauseous from an anesthesia. You can, you know, open up your cans. Most of these have like a little pull tab. It's not that hard to open by yourself with one hand. Take granola and cereal and stuff, put it into these type of containers where you can just use one hand. You can pop the lid open. Oh, I can't do it. You can't see it, but you get the idea. These little, these little prep works that you do, that really makes a big difference. Uh, when you go to the hospital, if you're in a warm area, it's not really a problem. But when you come out of the hospital, you can't put a regular shirt on, right? Because they're not going to take you, they're not going to let you take the splint off the sling to put a shirt on. So my girlfriend let me borrow this big poncho thing with a slit in it. And I'm in New York, so it's about negative seven degrees outside right now. It's one of the coldest winters we've ever had. And this thing wrapped around pretty nicely. Pretty cozy. And then I can, I can put my big jacket on, unzipped over top, you know, loosely. This hand that's in the sling, this guy, this fat guy right here, was so hot, I wasn't really afraid of that getting cold. But the rest of me was pretty cold. Put a hat on, a scarf, you can put all that stuff on too. But that's something to think about when you come out of there. They tell you on like the fourth day when you take a shower, you can take the sling off and loosely just kind of hold your hand to your side, you know, and then that's when you can put a shirt on. But I was so cold yesterday, I was like, it didn't even hurt that much. 
I had my girlfriend help me a little bit. And then you just take a shirt, you go through that left armhole or that whatever the injured arm is, you put that hole through gingerly first. Be very careful with your arm, just lift it with your other hand. Slide it up your arm to the armpit, put it over your head and then stick your other arm through. So much nicer having this between your skin and the sling because the sling can get annoying after a while. Um, like I said, ice it a lot. And when you're sitting around icing it, if you're not moving anywhere, you can unsnap these things, you know, give your skin a little bit of a rest because it, it does get annoying. Um, tomorrow should be pretty much the same as today. Uh, the day after that, I'll take a shower and I'll make another video to tell you how that goes. Um, if you're having trouble sleeping like I did last night, you really need a recliner. It'll really help. I tried propping myself up on a bed, like my back at an angle, my knees up and back down at an angle, pretty much trying to recreate a recliner. So my butt was asleep the whole time. It kept tingling. It was painful. I could not sleep last night. Last night, I slept on my side, which they tell you not to do. Uh, it kind of hurt in a different way when I woke up, but I did get some sleep that I really needed. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up, but I actually went on Amazon and ordered a recliner because I want comfort that bad. If you, most people have one in their house already. If not, I really recommend getting one before you get the surgery. All right, pretty good. I'll talk to you guys in a couple days.